Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to the first of a few videos where I talk about my trips that I went on. So the first trip I'm going to talk about is my journey to Wyoming that I went on a year ago. I didn't make a video on it then, because there was stuff to make videos on regarding dinosaurs and Jurassic World Dominion, but because nothing new is coming out except for the Life on Our Planet documentary, I figured I might as well make a video on it. So without further ado, let's get started. Day 1. So, me and my mom were planning this trip for some time, and because we didn't want to fly, because I get nervous when I fly, we ended up going on a road trip instead, which was great because we would see more on the ground than we would in the air. Day 1 was mostly spent driving from our home state to Boise, Idaho. The drive was several hours long, and we arrived in Idaho pretty late, so by the time we reached the first hotel, we were half asleep. Anyway, we checked in, entered our room, and fell asleep. Day 2. We woke up early to go to the Discovery Center of Idaho because they were featuring Sue the Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is the largest T-Rex ever discovered and normally is in Chicago, I think. So, of course, this being a limited time thing, we had to go see it. The exhibit was really cool and showcased the famous statue of Sue eating a juvenile Edmontosaurus, and it looked so freaking cool up close and a lot bigger in person. Not only was the statue there, but there was also a cast of the skeleton, which looked pretty cool. Additionally, there was a movie playing that would highlight parts of the skeleton, and as the narrator talked, the lights highlighted the parts of the skeleton that the film was talking about. So, that was a really neat feature. There was also a Triceratops skeleton, and skulls of Edmontosaurus and Ankylosaurus. All of these animals were most likely prey for Sue and other Tyrannosaurs. Upon leaving the exhibit, you were greeted by a Tyrannosaurus skeleton and skull, which looked pretty cool. I also purchased several souvenirs like a keychain that says Sue the World's T-Rex, which is pretty neat. After we left the Discovery Center, we continued to drive into Utah and then into Green River, Wyoming. Day 3. We woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning because we needed to be at our next destination early, and I'll get to why later. Anyway, we go from our hotel and drive into Thermopolis where the Wyoming Dinosaur Discovery Center is. We arrive there and wait a few minutes for the place to open. Once the place opens, we go inside and check in for the dig. The reason why we needed to get there so early is so we could sign up to dig for dinosaur bones. Yes, I got to dig for dinosaur bones. Anyway, we are checked in for the dig, and we are accompanied by some more people who signed up for the dig, and our two tour guides who study paleontology. After meeting everyone, we get into a car, and the tour guides take us up a mountain. On the drive up the mountain, we got to see the really cool landscape of the Morrison Formation. For those who don't know, the Morrison is a formation that spans from New Mexico to Montana, and even some parts of Canada. This is the formation where paleontologists find a lot of animals from the Jurassic period. So, this is where you find Stegosaurus, Allosaurus, Diplodocus, Camarasaurus, and a whole lot more. After some more driving, we come to a stop at an undercover site, where there are plenty of footprints from sauropods like Camarasaurus, and some theropod tracks from Allosaurus. The tour guides explained that this area we were digging in was probably a water source, which would explain the amount of footprints in the area, and they also passed out a cast of a bone for everyone to hold and touch, and that was really cool. After that, we continued to drive up the mountain and up to a dig site, where we got to dig for dinosaur bones. Now anything you find would be donated to the museum, and you would be credited with finding it. And we did find some dinosaur bones that were small and fragmentary, but still very cool, and the tour guide said we could keep them. So, I have some real dinosaur bone fragments in my room right now, which is really cool. Also, digging for dinosaur bones is the coolest thing ever in my opinion, because I have always wanted to do paleontology and dig for dinosaur bones ever since I was really young, and I finally got to do that, which was really cool. Anyway, after an hour, we changed locations to a marine deposit, where we would be able to find a lot of fossils of marine life. I found a lot of clams and some bullet squid shells, which are pretty cool. After we finished digging, we went down to the museum, and the tour guides gave us a tour of the whole museum, including the lab, but more on that later. The tour begins in a room that has a bunch of aquatic animals on display, including trilobites that were all found together, which is a really cool and remarkable find. Then there were some ammonites from all over the world that vary in shapes and sizes. And after that, there were some placoderms like Dunkleosteus. After exiting the marine section, you enter into the rest of the museum that had a lot of cool animals, like Dimetrodon, which is a synapsid. They also had their new dinosaur on display, which is Hesperornithoids meisleri. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong, and I do apologize. Also on display was the Thermopolis specimen of Archaeopteryx. And Archaeopteryx is a really important dinosaur, because it was the first dinosaur confirmed to have feathers. After that, there were some dinosaurs from Asia, like Velociraptor, Tijongosaurus, Monoophosaurus, and Belosaurus. 
Then there were some pterosaurs and marine reptiles like Anaguera, Pliosaurus, Archaon, Xerophosaura, Polycatiwids, Lytoloma, and more. Then they had a Camarasaurus that was standing on its hind legs and looked over the entrance of the museum. That was really cool. And after that, you could see multiple species of dinosaurs like Supersaurus, Therizinosaurus, Alioramus, Allosaurus, Stegosaurus, plenty of Hadrosaurs like Myosaur and Hypacrosaurus, lots of Ceratopsians like Medusa Ceratops and Zuni Ceratops, Gastonia. Then they had a T-Rex, Triceratops, and Protoceratops all together, which was really cool. After seeing the museum, we got to go into the labs where we got to see the real dinosaur bones and the lab equipment used to clean up the bones. And after that, we went to the gift shop and I got another keychain and some ammonites as well as a Diplodocus claw. Then we had to drive back to our hotel, but on the way we got to see some bison, which I haven't seen before in real life, so that was cool. Then we drove back to the hotel and spent the rest of the day there. Day 4. This was the day we started heading back home, and the first stop on the way back was the Fossil Butte National Monument. That was more focused on marine fossils of fish and crocodiles, as well as a lot of plant fossils, which were pretty cool. Of course, I went to the gift shop and I purchased a fossil fish replica, which is really cool. Then in Utah, we went to George S. Eccles Dinosaur Park, which had a walk with a lot of dinosaur statues, animatronic triceratops and T-Rex, and a museum. In the museum, there were plenty of animals like T-Rex, Gryposaurus, Nanotyrannus, Dinosuchus, Allosaurus, Majungasaurus, a Spinosaurus skull, and plenty more. And on the walk, there were plenty of animals and dinosaurs that I'll have a short montage of on screen right now. After the walk, we went to the gift shop and purchased a plush stegosaurus for my brother, as well as some little dig sets that contained some little skeletons, which are pretty cool. And after all that, we went back home. So, that was a very brief version of the trip I went on last year, where I got to dig for dinosaur bones. It was a really cool and informative experience, and it was also my first time going to Utah and Wyoming. I have more stories to tell about some trips I went on this year, so be sure to stay tuned for those. That is going to have to wrap up this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to press the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!